Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you some cool tricks of IMM brush and I will create one hair braid brush. So let's begin. Here is one cylinder. We will go to initialize. You can see vertical divide. I will make 15 and horizontal divide I will create 8. So I will stretch this out. I will go to move and click the green one. Okay, this is fine, I guess. Making polymer 3D. You will mark this one. You have to mark like this. Uh, invert mask you have to make this shape like this it's very easy uh, I'm going to zoom in you can see that this line is going to kind of parallel but not too much close to the end of this line let's go to Z modeler I have to delete some edge go to delete edge loop complete click this one this one done now it's looking like this one shape of hair braid in this side view it's look like this we have to mask again but in this time I have to mask like this only one edge loop gap another edge loop gap another edge loop gap another edge loop inverse the mask control i and like this you have to it's very simple from front it's look like this and side it's look like this Almost is done. It's look like a stair. I have to add some insert <coughs> multiple edge loop. It helps to create edge loop at the center by just click into that face. To make separate polygroup you have to create control plus W. It's very important to make this one sub tool a single polygroup. You will understand later. I have to copy it.
you can see that this line the ending lines should be almost same like this this part is kind of tricky you have to do it little bit carefully auto group is done now I have to you know shift control and track by hitting spacebar you can move it freely I have to yes now it's done split hidden I don't need the other parts I have to delete it so this is the main thing it will be like when the brush will be created it will be come around like loop you can see it's look like almost here bread so before we create insert mesh I have to do something very important thing let's make it only uh, uh, how can I say uh, one sub tool uh, sorry on group before creating it into another insert mesh we must create it into only one poly group otherwise this brush won't be created that's the tricky one you can see I created it and only into one poly group it's combined into one poly group and that's the main thing about this brush now I'm creating it done now let's go to some another sub tool like spear or anything else boom done <laughs> actually it's not uh, the brush yet we have to create it now it's very easy it's almost done go to stroke you can see that curve create curve mode boom done still you can see it's like separate the loop is not actually binded we have to go to this brush and modifiers hit oiled points and stretch hit it like full and the bend angle also full 90 degree now you can see the differences see it's almost it's yes it's fully welded it's not looking like a another separated loop right it's look like fully one braid and that's pretty cool it's very nice Ta -da. <laughs> now I have to make it like real here so let's go to curve modifiers size now it's look like here but it's so thin right hmm it's like opposite here uh, we can fix that go to curve fall off we have to flip this curve fall off 
vertically you can see flip vertically now it's like fully hair braid nice but still it's thin I will fix it but before that I will show you something it's like uh, flying from the another object right let's fix it go to depth drag it little down now check this out now we have to fix the thin ending of this hair we have to create like this i have to make it manually now you can see the ending is not like thin like before very nice ah that's my name Okay, thanks. Hope you like it.